गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू ओके टूडे टॉपिक इज द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट हैज बोथ मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन बट स्टिल वाई इट इज एस्केलर पॉइंट द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट हैज बोथ मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन बट स्टिल इट इज एस्केलर क्वान्टिटी बिकॉज इट डज नॉट फॉलो द वैक्ट लॉ ऑफ एडिशन इट सिंपली आंसर इज इट डज नॉट फॉलो द वैक्ट लॉ ऑफ एडिशन ओके वट इज वैक्ट लॉ ऑफ एडिशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सी वट इज वैक्ट लॉ ऑफ एडिशन सपोज देर इज अ ब्लॉक देर इज अ ब्लॉक and uh, a force that is f1 is acting that is 10 newton of f1 that is acting towards the on the block okay there is a block and f1 uh, of force that is 10 newton is acting on the block and another force that is f2 which is also acting uh, this one uh, 20 newton force which is acting on the block then the block will uh, uh, having a displacement because uh, the net force if you asking about the net force the f net will will becomes equal to f1 plus f2 f1 plus f2 this will becomes 10 plus 20 equal to 30 newton okay uh, this will become 30 newton and again another example here suppose there is a block and a force of 20 newton is acting and here uh, from the opposite side say there is also a force that is f2 which is acting of 10 newton okay there f1 equal to uh, 20 newton f2 equal to 10 newton there uh, we can see here uh, that uh, the both force are in opposite direction that's why if you asking about the net force f net then what will becomes uh, here the f net the f net becomes f1 minus f2 it will becomes 20 minus 20 minus 10 that is 10 newton here we can see that uh, the two forces are add up and here we can see the two forces are simply subtracted uh, why the two forces are subtracted here and why the two forces are add up here because there is a meaning of direction here the two forces are in same direction that's why it add up and here two forces are in opposite direction that's why it is simply or by following the vector law of addition it subtracted and by following the vector law of addition it add up but if you asking about the current suppose you asking about the current here you can see if a wire having a current of 10 ampere and another wire which is connecting here a junction uh, suppose there is a junction Uh, and uh, i2 here if you uh, say that here 20 ampere and another wire the third wire uh, i3 here uh, if you asking that 30 ampere and after it uh, there is a uh, only one wire is connected uh, after junction then what uh, will be the net current here the net current will becomes uh, i equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 simply add up simply by following the algebraic rule there is no meaning of direction here but here the meaning of direction if the same if the uh, direction is same then it will add up if the direction is opposite it will be subtracted here uh, you can see that i equal to 10 plus 20 plus 30 it will become say 60 ampere suppose there is another another, another example Uh, suppose uh, here a current of i one equal to two ampere, and another current, another current uh, meet here uh, a junction. Here is a junction. Uh, another current i two equal to here two ampere, and i two equal to three ampere. And after it, after it, there is only one uh, wire is connected. Suppose there is only one wire is connected after junction. Then what will happen here? Just uh, just you can see the I net will becomes I equal to I one plus I two. Uh, it will becomes a two ampere plus three ampere. Two plus three it will becomes five ampere only. Here we can see the I one and I two both are in opposite direction, but still the net current will becomes five ampere. It will add up. Why it will add up? Because there is a no meaning of direction here. But uh, the in force, force is a vector quantity. The physical quantity having both magnitude and direction, and also it follows the vector law of addition. Then it is a vector quantity. 
otherwise if uh, 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 the physical quantity which, which having a four which having a direction and a magnitude but uh, it does not follow the vector law of addition it means that it is not a vector quantity it is a scalar quantity so here we can see that the current does not follow the vector law of addition here we can see here we can see but uh, the force would follow the vector law of addition that's why the force is a vector quantity and the current is a scalar quantity okay I think uh, you are able to follow me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.